Hello and welcome to News Now on iBrand TV. My name is Bernard Joseph and here are the stories we are reporting at this hour. In a bid to forestall yet another round of the NSAS protests, armed policemen and soldiers have been deployed to the Lekito Plaza, Lagos. Reports say that the security operatives were deployed at about midnight. The police public relations officer Muiwa Adejobi had at the time of this report not responded to inquiries. However, both military and police authorities had warned earlier not to allow for another round of protests in Lagos. The former governor of Bielsa State, Siraki Dixon, has won the Bielsa State Senatorial District by election under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP. INEC returning officer for Bielsa Central, Dr. Emmanuel Ackman, also declared the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Moses Cleopas, winner for the district. The People's Democratic Party won both of the by-elections in Bielsa Central and West Senatorial Districts to retain the seats vacated by Governor Duoye Diri and his deputy. Meanwhile, the East Carolina University in the United States has refuted claims that it appointed Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje as visiting professor. It said the letter sent to him by a member of its faculty was unauthorized by appropriate officials. Spokesman for the governor, Abba Anwa, had on Tuesday said the governor's appointment was contained in a letter sent by the school through a lecturer of the International Center for IT and Development, Victor Mbarika, at the University's College of Business on November the 30th. Reacting to the claims, the university's interim provost and senior vice chancellor for academic affairs, however, denied any such appointment. The Academic Staff Union of Universities has said it would not end the strike it embarked on until the federal government paid all the salaries of its members it withheld. The president of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, Professor Biodun Ogunyemi, in a telephone interview said that the government should not expect lecturers to resume without paying the withheld salaries. And in business, some workers of Access Bank PLC are protesting against an alleged termination of their contract and non-payment of entitlements. The workers who protested at the bank's head office in the Victoria Island area of Lagos State carried placards depicting the agitations. Some of the placards read, Stop Access Bank Brutality. The workers accused the bank of terminating the contract of over 2,000 workers without the payment of their entitlements. Meanwhile, the governor of the central bank, Mr. Godwin Emefiele, has said that Nigeria must return to the golden era when the country produced goods and services to grow the economy. Specifically, Emefiele said the only way for the Naira to catch up with other currencies was for Nigerians to depend less on the consumption of foreign goods. According to him, no nation in the world depends on the consumption of foreign goods to grow its economy. Emiefele spoke at a one-day Northwest Zonal Stakeholders Interactive Enlightenment session with the Apex Bank on its five-year policy thrust. And on the foreign scene, Chinese pharmaceutical firm Shinovac Biotech has received an extra funding of half a billion dollars in extra funding to produce its COVID-19 vaccine as the country raises to roll out a jab for general use. Virgin had largely brought the virus under control with only 280. 81 active cases receiving treatment according to official reports but it has promised to make its vaccines available as a global public good as it seeks to counter out global criticism for its early handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. Meanwhile in the world of sports the Confederation of African Football has unveiled the fixtures for the first round of the 2020-2021 CAF Confederations Cup after the preliminary round was concluded at the weekend. According to the Continental Football Governing Body, the first leg matches will be played on the 22nd and the 23rd of December 2020 and the second leg on the 5th and 6th of January 2021. The 16 winners of the two-leg first round matches advance to the playoff round where they will be joined by the 16 losers of the Champions League first round. And that wraps it up for us on News Now on iBrand TV at this time. For more news stories, do visit our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and follow all of our social media platforms. I am Bernard Joseph and I'll see you again. Bye for now.